What's up everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Grifland. It's Rook, it's day four, don't let that mislead you. You got blood in your mouth and it means something, I don't know. Uh, we want... It's stupid, but this coin comes up tails all the time. I don't know why. It feels like it's it's rigged in the wrong way. So used to Hebel's grim demeanor that it makes you takes you a moment to realize he looks even grimmer than usual. Everything good? Elmo wants to see you. Other directions into the bog, the deep bog. Alright. Cool. Not... Not scary in the least. You want to earn a couple quick shills? Heck yeah, dude. I need 250 before I go to the black market. I'll pay you 120 when we're done. More. You won't give me much more. Let me vanish. Flip the coin. Is this going to be the time where it comes up heads constantly? No, let's go. It's it's just flipping forever. Five extra damage. Don't mind if I do. Flip the coin. Don't mind if I do. Draw a card. Gain an action. Yup. Let's go ahead. Ensure that we definitely want to play this. All right, don't don't mess around. It's stronger for the future. It's just the correct play. All right. Get pale fallout out there. Get vanish out there. It's a mystery who he's attacking. That's fine. Some people like mysteries. Now. We definitely want to apply composure to our face. Right move, apparently. Go ahead, destroy this. You will not attack our influence. And we're just going to take three. Right on. Right on, right on. Must be targeted before anything else. Hate you. This costs zero for some reason. So we'll move that over there. This will let us draw a card. Flip a coin. Spend influence, do damage. We're one short. Hate that, just kidding. Spend all influence applied to composure to all. That's a... One heck of a move. No thank you. Scares me. Sammy Passa. Two hundred chills, let's go. I'll exchange my sweat for your shills. That's gonna that's how I just describe work from now on. Deal with these beasts. It's a bunch of weak feral autocogs. I do love how he's standing like a gorilla though. The first card played each battle costs one additional. Hate hate that. Play. This is the perfect situation. Excellent. Fight's over. Let's go. Win the combat by playing only item cards. Let's go. <laughs> I'm a tactical gene. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Replenish, piercing, distract for one use. No. Our our deck is going to be... F no, I don't need it. You have prevailed over the local fauna. Thanks for that, Crystal. You know what? You've earned your pay already. I'll finish it. Let's go. Whenever you play an item card, gain two defense. Thanks for the money. What a fantastic way to start the day. Give me a good craft. Two power at the start of battle. Start of each turn, mark an enemy. Whenever you draw six or more cards, play a random card your hand with a random target. <clears throat> that kind of happens sometimes, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's going to help that much. If you draw a status card, draw a card. Mm, no. If you gain dominance, deal damage. All right. We can move this list. Remove 312 shells to remove. Whenever you spend overcharge, draw a card. We spend it in one situation, so I don't think that's worth it. 
What would we even remove? Probably pale ready. It doesn't do anything for us. We never block properly. If you just play it once, it gets rid of itself. What would we remove from our negotiation deck? We would remove... Headstrong Rationale or Sifting Pleasantries. Probably Sifting Pleasantries. I mean, we're both garbage. But I think... I think we're okay for now. I think we wait. Save our money. You're rather surprised to find Falamo himself has made an appearance along with a number of Spark Baron guards. Ah, oh, you made it. I wondered if you had your leg... Your leg slowed you down. Push you down. I hope you aren't as recalcitrant as Hebel was on map. I thought this part of the bog was uncharted. Oh, it is. Treacherous terrain. But we rigged an automech retinal scanner in onto a gas balloon and were able to get some readings. Not foolproof, of course. Requires configuration. But between it and your insight, you should be able to find a way. Well. I forgot that we go straight into the final mission. So let's just go ahead and buy a graft, I guess. Do we buy a graft or do we remove a card? Whenever you draw six or more cards after your initial hand in a single turn, play a random card. That that, that seems there's too many too many conditions. It sounds annoying. At the start of each turn, apply two mark to a random enemy. Nice way to gain charge. So it's either this or remove a card. Gimme give, give me a moment, okay? Give me a moment. Give me mark. And if I have the money for it, ah, whenever you shuffle your deck, it's not gonna happen. Anything I can buy from you? Remove a negotiation card? Don't mind if I do. To your port. You can lighten my load. That sounds uh disgusting. Never say that again. Alright. Never talk about never talk to me or my load ever again. Alright. Yeah. You do the soldiering, old chap. That's below my pay grade. The barons I've brought can provide support, but we have limited resources. Remember, no reinforcements. We're on our own here. Party falls in line, protecting fellow Mo in the middle. Lead the way. You're deep in the bog when you hear the sounds of struggle ahead of you. Felmo's barons hang back while you two creep forward to investigate and discover a few workers heating sandwiches in the earth. Thieves stealing valuable relics from beneath our very feet. They won't stand. Rook, be a good fellow and deal with them quickly. See you right. It's about the shrub line. Careful to draw attention away from the lurking barons. My, my, my. This is quite the haul. It's ours, Scripter. We risked our necks to make this claim. And we're gonna sell the profits and buy our out our contracts. You should not do that. I am not gonna fight you. Because that would be stupid. Why? How dare anybody message me when my phone is right next to the microphone? Don't they know I'm stupid? You have so much. Composure, holy frick, I'm an idiot. So can I chat? One action, draw a card. Yes. Thank you. The cards, they do be so playing cool. themselves, kinda. Holy frick. Um, we have a ton of influence. Well, oh, that's cool. Alright, I'm still gonna take six, but you're almost dead. And this turn, it's gonna be nothing but gas. Trust me. Flip the coin. Oh, it's it's just going. Okay, okay. Whenever I create a new argument to do bad stuff. Got it. Got it, got it. Two nineteen. <sighs> uh 
How do we how do we flip the coin, my guy? I don't think we do. I don't think we can flip the coin here. So we're gonna take a ton. And we just start we just start playing with the coins and cards. It doesn't. You're you're dead. There's no way you're not. Okay. There you go. Do you have influence repair a card? Nope. Nope. Isn't there a reward for informants? How well can you trust your compatriots? Would any of them turn something something? Maybe we'd all just better turn this into the barracks, since uh, we don't want to be found in breach of contract. Workers continue to haul their salvage through the bog, but this time with much less enthusiasm. Suppose that you're dealing with it? Now I see why Calandra was inclined to trust you. You're a soft hand, Rook. I must say it surprises me. I remember you being much stricter, but I did have, but I did have you on a bit of a pedestal, didn't I? My guy, I've got like a robot leg. I'm not as young as I used to be. Or perhaps I just know when a subtle touch is required. So we continue. Your treasure awaits. That it does. Elmo is feeling indifferent towards you. Shut up. All right, old chap, you seem a bit tense. Something feels off. Does it? I don't believe we're being followed. I flattered myself that I would notice if we were. Not if her tail had an evolutionary advantage. You hold out your hand to silence the group, ignoring Felomo's dubious look. Freaking robot dogs. All right. All right, all right. Let's... It's terrible draw. This just freaking sucks. Uh, but I definitely want to save our flourish for the actual boss fight. Can we hit all enemies? Yeah. Yeah, hit all enemies. Excellent. Save us a painful turn. And then, just start blasting. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on here? We're not getting hurt, so don't don't stress too much. Just play a couple cards. See what's up. The target has metallic and stun it. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Give me overcharge. Sure, you know, if you, that's what you want to prioritize, then more power to you. Auto dog, super done. Deal bonus damage equal to the cost of the most expensive cards in your hand. No. No, I will not. Robustify. He's gonna give me a ton of health though. Let's go. Didn't think it'd be that useful, but here I am with 55 health. Feels pretty okay. By Hazard's reach, what were those things? Have you not been outside? Of course not. Threats like that are contained well before they reach headquarters. Let's press on before the stench of the corpses draws some other nefarious creatures. That's like the most mundane, basic bog thing here. A moment, Rook. This is a good moment to rest before we make the final approach. You humans are rather short-winded after all. Troops spread out, leaving you to snatch out a couple moment, couple quiet moments to yourself. Tend to your wounds, not necessary. Meditate, really not necessary. Upgrade a card, not necessary. Rally the troops. We'll regain charges on the card, explore the temple. Listen, I'm just gonna meditate. Fill me up. You and the troops fall into step, but deep bog awaits. You're deep in the bog now. A fly buzzes next to your ear, loud enough to almost crack your skull off. What a terrible visual. Hold, just a moment. One of the charming idiosyncrasies of these artificial legs. Both of them, they need to be maintained. I thought he had one, but... Suddenly, Thelmo crouches by your side, pulling a kit from his satchel. I developed these cloths for our weapons, but I imagine it'll, it'll do just as well for that bum leg of yours. He begins to, to clean the joint of your artificial... Hey. That's sweet. 
He's... You forget, I always had commendations for field maintenance. We need to be quick, and I trust myself to do the job properly. There, should do the trick now. Give the boy a bend. Sure enough, your leg works better than it has in a while. Think? Elmo, you're a scum lord, but that was nice. You both fall silent as your ears prick. Something about the block has shifted. Even the buzzing flies have gone. Yeah, that's a really interesting interaction. Like, because Alondra is an asshole when when Rook's like, oh, my, I got bog in my knee joint. Give me a moment. She's like, hurry up. I'm not going to wait for you. But Felmo's like, nah, I get it, dude. You're... This is whole man. What a... Interesting bit of character death. Uh, by the way, you should get the heck out of here. I'm all. I got all kinds of stuff. Draw a card, gain an action. I don't want to take 11 damage. But it looks like I'm going to. Take some. You know what? That's fine. That's why I, uh, that's why I healed before. Can we please protect? Let's go. Two, three, six. Influence is still going to get busted up. Doesn't matter what we prepare. Influence will not get busted up. Brain too big. Okay, definitely play Twisted Bluff. Definitely play Vanish. Spend one influence. Don't mind if I do. And you're just dead. Right on. The bog has been gutted for decades. You're fools if you think we have anything to fear. Get out of here. We must be getting close. Indeed, let us press on. The light dims as you march deeper into the bog. It's not just the daylight that's dwindling, the air grows thicker, congealing into a miasma of spores and swamp gas. Something's not right. The air is thick enough to dampen sounds, but you know all the same that you've walked into a trap. Alright, Rook, for a second I wondered if Felomo had maybe hooked you for insubordination. But you're only fashionably late. Lay down your arms, Felomo, and come quiet, and we can negotiate a fair deal. Otherwise I'll have to kill you, and I'm afraid your old war buddy won't be able to do anything about it. My old war buddy would rather lay down his life than betray a comrade. Yeah, papa. I followed this man into more danger than even you. You're in right now, lady. Zookable. Captain, show this woman how we deal with threats in the aerostat. So I'm definitely defending Philemo because we've made it this far. But it's interesting. Despite, like, Philemo. Elmo likes you. He's, he genuinely is like your friend. And that's that's cool. Anyway. I'm I'm gonna murder everybody here. I would like to also defend myself a little bit. We're going to dodge the seven, but we're gonna take the three. Unless. Unless. Who are we impairing? Who? Calandra. Absolutely. Got a vendetta against me? Uh, please do not demoralize my troops. I need to kill the radical though. This person needs to go immediately. Okay. Okay, okay. Why are you so strong? Why is everybody here so strong? Hold up. Uh, let's... We're taking 17 from you. What a scum lord. Make an impairing attack against him too. Okay. Uh, we are not fully charged yet. Grant me... More overcharge, please. Thank you. Okay, somebody is marked. When we attack you, we will gain charge. Excellent. 
So now we're charged, and we have plenty of overcharge, and this is free to play. We don't have the means to remove our impair. But that's gonna ha have to be okay. Got a reason to play that. I think because of the way the charge generation worked, I think we wind up with as much as we started with. Like we didn't lose any for, for spending. I don't know. 8, 16, 33 damage coming in. A lot of it is coming from the radical here. Let's see if we can't put him underground. Well, a little defense won't hurt. Draw a few cards, see what's up. There you go, soften him up a little bit. Definitely being made to surrender. Permanently surrendered. Awesome. Now, 16 damage coming in. Could you kindly attack her and then impair her so I can keep my health high for the upcoming fight? Taking five, not a big deal. We do have a heal in our deck. Lots and lots of cool stuff. Enemy has metallic, so go ahead and just stun him. Don't think about it too much. Play play all your zero costs, you know? Make make room in your hand. Yeah, hate overdrawing, but you know, that's life. Who's attacking me still? Alondra? You both are? Scum lords. Absolute trash people. Thanks for the charge, by the way. Two actions left. That's fine. This is fine. Okay. Still taking 11, but the person with the vendetta against us is now gone. Give me overcharge and put some debuffs on everybody. I'm not even taking damage this turn, so go ahead, ruin that person's day. You back there. Stop resisting. Go ahead and uh, just tear him up. And that would be the time to kind of mess around a little bit, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to kind of like play with my food, I guess. I, I want to blast it. I caused zero, so that doesn't bother me. But I want to draw some cards. Where's the heal? There you go. I definitely want to heal right now. Free to play? Don't mind if I do. And I think that's it. Nothing else we want to... Yeah, nothing else here. Hit the multi-attack for Good fight, good fight. Draw two cards, gain two charge for each attack card. My burn. Metal. Metal. RPG's nice. RPG is going to be great for when the little eyeballs come out. The first attack played your next turn is played twice. No. Stun is good though. It's all enemies. Fine. I know I used the grenade like recklessly earlier, but I just wanted to keep our deck thin. Oh wait, gotta read the dialogue. Oh well, I would have preferred a public execution, but perhaps I would have just made a martyr out of her. I must say, old boy, you did have me worried for a second there. Kalandra seemed quite convinced of your performance. You did hire a spy, remember? I had to maintain cover. Yes, so I told Arendt. She might forgive you with time, but she'll never forget. I hope the lesson she'll take to heart. It'd be well served if she took a leaf out of your book. That said, dealing with Arendt were part of the plan. Why didn't you tell me about it? Be in your bonnet, fellow man. You always were five steps ahead, Rook. It makes me wonder if I seem to be keeping face. Perhaps I should be suspicious. 
Um, cool, dude. Don't wanna care. I suppose I have only my actions to speak for. Don't even bother trying to understand me. Alright. This is free to play. This gives me draw. This is a guaranteed play. We have no influence. Just block one. Weak start. Alright, what's going on now? Pale Fallout? Get out there. Vanish? Here we go. We got the gas. Two actions? No big deal. Now this is free to play. Heck yeah, dude. It's just going. The fight's over. <laughs> I love gamble decks. Oh, I love gamble decks. Uh, we, we don't... we don't want it. You asked me to walk an impossible line, serving two masters, earning the trust of both. I believe I did so to the best of my ability, and now here I stand by your side. No one else's. Yes, indeed. Just like I stood next to you in Ventoria. And the Lake Spit Intrigue. And the Rolock. Operation Controlled Burn, how could one forget? Of course, Rook. Captain. Spies we might have been, we were also brothers in arms, and that bond does not decay. Our mission isn't yet complete. I still have a weapon cache to secure. Then lead the way, Captain. Elmo loves you. What a useless boon for the very end of the game. Eventually the road leads you to a strange outcropping of rock, sticking out the bog like a snaggle tooth. Just inside the entrance you find signs of civilization, such as it is. Glowing relics and some discarded bones have been shaped into what might be an altar. We're here! Where is the cache now? You'll find what you seek in the heart of the bog. I'm gonna put you in the bog, my guy. I assure you, there's nothing but bliss in the embrace of the bog. Then, freaking prepare yourself to eat dirt. Give me? Vanish. Play this. Flip the coin. Play this. This is free. Okay. Drawing is also free. Pale Fallout. Get that out there. Five damage. Don't mind if I do. We're taking six. Who cares? Actually, give me Coin Juggler one last time. Alright. Alright. How much influence we have? Plenty. The coin. The coin do be flippin'. Now, Blacklist is great, but it might not even be necessary. Just kidding, it's I'm a, I'm a genius. 10 damage, you scum lord. That's getting busted and there's nothing I can do about it. But that's okay. Go ahead, hit me for eight. See, see if I care. I'm gonna take this vanish. I'm gonna destroy your heartburn. And the fight's over. Not even sure what got you. The fight's over. To play the first two arguments, imagine. Give me day five, you cowards. How I <clears throat> Did it also foretell my desecration? How I sullied it as I came through? How I spilled blood that wasn't mine to spill? Is that what your bog wanted? You know nothing of what the bog wants. Imagine his voice cracks. Enough. Careful, Rook, who knows what these boggers are capable of. The bog consumes, we merely provide. I think this is gonna be great because. Oh, first off, I hate that I don't have allies. <clears throat> but we benefit from a lot of setup so if we just have to deal with you for a bit it gives me time to uh, you know, to get set up terrible draw absolutely awful I hate it get that out there <sighs> let's see I don't want to take damage early on, so give me concentration and defense, okay? 
go ahead expend this right away. It will never be useful. Elmo. Get out there. This can get out there as well. Okay. Please uh don't go after me. Give me afflictions. Let me draw many cards. This is free to play. Absolutely. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Give me extra overcharge. Because there's no way I'm blocking anything. Multi attack, wounding attack. We dodging this turn? You gave me a heal? Let's go. I shoot and draw. Excellent. I upgrade all of our cards. It should do nothing. It upgraded something? Advanced Gorilla Tactics. Apply stun. Let's go. Anyway, uh, you all get rocketed. Okay. Still have two actions, we're not getting hit. Give me more stuff to draw. And you know what? Take, take the shot. Bust them all. Let's go. Okay, you should be weak, or at least you're gonna spend your turn summoning allies. That's that's okay with me. Go ahead, get that away. Get that card out of our deck. And then, yeah, make a wounding attack. Love it. Let me draw a bunch. Start applying more status effects. Stun him. Absolutely. Absolutely stun him. Should have gained overcharge first, but it's not a huge deal. We'll save this for a defensive turn. We don't need more. We don't need more overcharge. Or we'll save it for an attack all turn. We'll give it the side view. Seven damage coming in. It is unblockable, unfortunately. Go ahead and make hand space. Kinda. Oh, nope. I tried. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see. Go ahead, draw your cards. It's another wound, and then no hand space. Perfect. He has no allies on the field, so I kind of feel bad about him. About using a multi-attack? And by multi-attack, I mean attack all. So I'm thinking... Give ourselves a little extra overcharge. It's going to do 13 to 27 damage. And we get better. Can gain a bunch of concentration. That's not the way. A little overcharge? That's not the way either. What's 27 times 4? 54, 108 damage? Maybe sometime in the future. Yo, I'm loving the zero cost. Yo, that's it. Attack against any all enemies? No, just multi attack this one. It is absolutely the way this day. We're still taking seven. It's unavoidable. I need my cards back. I need all of them back. They're very important to me. And I don't have an ability that attacks all enemies. So. Where is my hit ball? Right here. What else? What do you got? You don't have a hit all. You have a burn all. That's lame. I need all of my cards back. If you don't mind. It's all enemies for 8, which will actually be for 19. Play this first. Against all enemies. Yes. Okay. Now this one. Go ahead, Blossom. Thank you. Handful. Of course it is. Uh, stun this dummy. Thanks for the 
Sand Spits. Give me my cards back. Dumb word. I need Hand Space. Run level with charge. Stun enemies with Metallic. Uh, not, I don't I want to see that happening. Get the attack against this dummy. Oh, you're dead. I wasn't even looking at your health. <laughs> it's done. Bellum will get to work examining the area. There is work to be done and you only start of it. He hasn't noticed the strange device poking out the mud. It is mine. Let's go. It's done. The job. The cover. The double crossing. You did what you had to do. What you always do. But now your secrets are exposed. And it's time for you to move on. It's not often you reveal so much of yourself while undercover. But something about this job tricked you into putting a That's little too much the ending on for the Rook, line. or at least ending cutscene. Maybe you remembered the kind of person you used to be. The kind of work you used to It's the same to regardless of which side you choose. Or at least Lelan it's very similar. Bellamo oh, never mind. Here we go. To stake his claim as one of the great barons. A champion of industry. But you get a feeling what he really wanted was to stand on the front line. One last time with a trusted friend at his side. It was all too easy to manipulate him into doing exactly what you want. That's cool, some unique NPCs that you don't the see in the rest of the game. The time you're given for introspection is a quick stop at the drop point to deliver one last report and to get your marching orders. Haveria's a complex machine and the cogs don't turn by themselves. Hey, wait a minute. They said he had two metal knees and I only see one. What up with that? Anyway, uh, that was fun. Got a nice little mini overcharge deck going on. A lot of cards that cost zero. Let me draw infinitely. And look at that. We can finally try Prestige 7. Who's a big gamer now? 10,000 points, that feels like a lot. Alright, well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. We'll be sure to do a daily or something tomorrow. And I'll see you next time. Again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.